But in the uh, 70s and early 80s, the band who had more Top of the Pops appearances than anyone else must have been the Waddy. Show Waddy Waddy. Uh, and that's I Wonder Why. And on the phone now is Romeo Challenger from Show Waddy Waddy, the drummer. Hello, Romeo. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes, it's been it's a nice sunny uh, day where I am. Hopefully, it is where you are. Where are where are you? I'm in the East Midlands, um, in the Le Leicestershire area. So you never really moved out of uh, the band's home ground then? None of us had really. Um, you know, I mean, you know, for for years we all stayed in the same sort of uh, locality. You know, so uh, we're the sort of people who, uh, you know, grounded. You know, we we okay, we got a lot of success and all the rest of it. But we weren't sort of tempted to do what a lot of other bands do, uproot and probably move to the capital. No, you weren't going to go to London or LA. No, no, we, no, we weren't. Not, no, we're not that kind of people. We're Leicestershire people. Yeah, I'm proud of it. Absolutely. Even more now. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, uh, I remember seeing you on New Faces. Oh, uh, my gosh, yes, that's going back. That's, that's well into the olden days. I yeah, mean, that... like, that's um, before we had our hit. That would, would have been 20. Uh, 74? 73? 73, 74. Yeah, but well, we had our first city 74. Um, so I think that would have been sort of uh, early spring. And so I, yeah. so I, I, I presumably um, we would have been, I mean, I, it's, it's been a while back since, but I think it's probably 73 we did New Faces. Wow, well, and Dave had a long hair and a ponytail at the yes, time. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He had... <laughs> Quite a menacing look, I think, at the time. And no one had ponytails then, really. Well, they didn't have the ponytail with the teddy boy drapes, did no, they? No, no, no. I mean, we, we, I mean, we sort of changed a lot of things. That, uh, you know, that was sort of acceptable about the sort of uh, rock and roll and the teddy boy look. Anyway, you know, some somebody had really long drapes, and some of us had short drapes. You know, it was yeah. just we just had our, you know, personalised it really. You know, the amazing thing about Shawadi Wadi and the Charts was, in the 1970s, it was really all about disco or punk when you guys were in the charts. I mean, not so much for the first couple of years, but by 76, disco had kicked in, and uh, and, and and so had punk and new wave. Yes, it did, yeah. But yeah. It, it didn't mean that Shawadi Wadi could not get a number one and couldn't get into the charts, because you fought them all off, didn't yes, you? Yes, uh, um, we did. I mean, like, I mean, the thing is that the music business at the time, there's room enough for everybody to sort of... Uh, to what they wanted to do. I mean, I, we were, um, before us, that you had your Genesis and your Pink Floyds and all that, and they were flourishing massively, Zeppelin and all those bands, The Who. And we came in and um, gave it, you know, the, the business a little bit of colour, especially certainly about TV, you know, entertainment and all the rest of it. And then you, you'd got the likes of Mark Bowling came in with this, the satting look and the all that. You know, the, the, the fashion thing changed where everything was sort of, glitzy and you know bright and all the rest of it of course the backlash of that came the new romantics didn't it and all that new yeah i guess so. thing that changed it all once again which is you know which is good music should always change and sort of reappear in a different uh, way you know but the fans have stayed with you and that's why you're at the concord club in eastleigh tomorrow night how many gigs are shawadi wadi doing a year now oh, Romeo? Uh, 100 and odd i would think Wow, so you're still quite busy then. Oh, yeah, very incredibly so. And how, and how many originals are still in the band? Just myself and Rod. Right, OK, because a lot of the guys just retired, did they? Because I, I suppose the older members of the band must have been knocking on a bit by now. Knocking on a bit, yeah, yeah. Knocking on. I mean, the thing is, it's not, it's not even the age-related thing. I mean, you know, people drop out for whatever reason, one reason or the other. I mean, unfortunately, one... The, what the other singer we had, Bill Gas, unfortunately died um, a few years ago. Um, but other people just, you know, decided that it was time. I mean, the thing is, when you're in a band, or wh whatever you do, um, you sort of you make a decision. You know, uh, is it is it? Am I ready to sort of retire or not? You know, I mean, so they have. What about on a cold January night when you've got a booking for Carlisle <laughs> and you're thinking, I don't mind doing South Sea in July, um, I don't mind going to the Concord, Concord in uh, Eastleigh, it's a legendary venue, but going to Carlisle on a Tuesday in January, do you think I've had enough now? No, 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 no. I mean, the thing is, the thing, if you, the, the thing about uh, uh, what that uh, idea you just mentioned is the fact that we all love, every one of us love being on stage. And the downside of it is, I mean, what does get you sometimes is the travelling. 
but and that is part of it because what it is is something you say, oh, I've got to go so many miles, blah, 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 blah. And when you get there, you go to the stage, then you realise that's what it's all about. That's, yeah. That's the whole point. You're you living know, so for that buzz of the 90 minutes or whatever on stage. Yeah, well, actually, we do two hours. <laughs> all right, OK. <laughs> It's a two-hour buzz. <laughs> All right, well, look, you're going to bring that two-hour buzz to the Concord Club in Eastleigh tomorrow night, Romeo. Yeah, looking forward to it, absolutely. Well, thank you very, very much for being on the show. I, uh, I, I really like the music of Shawadi Wadi because it's good, fun stuff, and there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of fun, is there? Certainly not. All right, thank you, Romeo. OK, cheers. Cheers. That's Romeo Challenger from Shawadi Wadi.